Hey, welcome. Follow me. We're playing our album that's new all the way through for the first time ever. <laughs> ever. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thanks for watching. Thanks for having us. The song's called Duet. guitar. I am Greta on this guitar. And
be accurate To call it negligent End of side A. Now you flip the record, and then it's side B of the record. We have our album comes out tomorrow. change of mood here. This is, uh, oh yeah, you do it. No, yeah, fix it. What do you want? You did the one that was on before. I don't know. I don't know. That. Yeah, that's cool. All right. I wonder if you're up. I'm America. Never played that one before. <laughs> I just made it up just now. <laughs> uh, all right, moving on. Wow. Right back into not that mood. Who put this track order together, huh? Wow. Who did that? <laughs> it was me. <laughs> all right. Seven, eight, nine, rest being alive.
Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Bus, bus. Bus, bus. Train, train. Makes me think I'm going far. Somehow it's shorter than the real <laughs> album, yeah. All right. Uh, cafeteria.
This song's called The End, but it's not our last song. I tried, and I know I tried. Time for some uh, Juan puns. Uh, Juan, Juan for well, well. <laughs> once and for all, we gotta just do something about mentioning this is that a we're once playing. Once in a lifetime it, opportunity. So Moments like this are wanters over. Finally. Yeah, finally wanters over. You know, once and for all, this is really. One of a kind, this experience in this basement. All right. Nothing is deserved. Nothing misses her. have one more song. We did all right. <laughs> we did it. We're Frankie Cosmos. Uh, okay, here it is.
Thanks. We're done. <laughs>、Everybody, Juan here, hanging out with Frankie Cosmos. Thank you guys for playing my basement. Thanks for having Thanks us. Thanks for having us.、Yeah. Um, <laughs> So you pretty much played your whole new record just now, which was such a treat, and we're getting a bunch of questions from our audience. So I kind of wanted to try to get through as many of those as we could. So we're going to get right to the Q and A, guys.、Uh, the first one is coming in from Pedro Z. What's the last thing that made each of you smile? I mean, we were just. I'll、you、say. Guys, I'll、yeah. say. I, we ran into my friend at a coffee shop who lives in Germany. Mm -hmm. um, and it was really crazy seeing him in Brooklyn just walk into the same coffee shop that I was in, and I screamed and smiled. So that was a nice thing.、Um, Greta made a joke right at the beginning of this session that <laughs> made me smile, in which she sang the opening track from our record "Vessel," which comes out tomorrow on Sub Pop、right, Records, Sub -Pop. March thirtieth. <laughs> Grab she, your copy. Yeah, what she did was sing the first song, "Caramelize," in kind of the style of a Jewish prayer. Oh, nice. Which made me smile. My family had to do Passover a week early because of our record release, so it's a nod, a nod to that.、Yeah. Our record comes out at sundown tomorrow.、Um, <laughs> at specific、uh, time, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I、uh, I smiled a lot last night because we were hanging out with a dog and a four-year-old.、Uh, same answer as Luke. <laughs> you can't not smile at those two things. These, yeah, yeah. yeah.、Uh, this one's from Alex M. Where do some of the new sounds on the record come from? Um, jammy experimentation or more intentional?、Um, I feel like we're not really a jammy、no. bunch. We、no. like hate to jam. We have like this joke. Jammy makes me really anxious. Yeah, <laughs> like we're just、I、not like jammers. Jam. Like, <laughs> but it's. I think everything's pretty intentional. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. Every sound is intentional. Yeah. No jamming. To the note. No jamming. The, just yeah. precision yeah. and jamming, and precision. thoughtfulness. Yeah. <laughs> Militant precision yeah. is what you guys are all about. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this is from Brett W from North Carolina.、Uh, what kind of shirt is referenced in Shirt Lake? Oh wow,、um, a T-shirt, I would say. <laughs> I think it's about a T-shirt.、Um, yeah, it's like I'm. I'm someone who, well, you know, not anymore because now Lauren's making bathing suits. But I, that's right. Lauren makes amazing bathing suits. But I generally am not a bathing suit person. I'm a T-shirt swimmer. Oh, okay. So、Got、that's、it. a little little bit about me. <laughs> it's personal. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about your bathing suits that you're making? <laughs> Throwing you on the spot here. Sure.、Um, I went to school for textile design, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I design all the fabric and sew them myself, and then I sell them on the internet. Cool. Where can we pick up? Do you do men's or women's?、Um, right now, it's just women's. Okay, I'm gonna wait for the yeah. For the men's. But you know, I'll, I'll be doing men's eventually. Awesome. Cool. Hope one day. Yeah. <laughs> This is、uh, Zach. With just Z A C, so that nice spelling. Zach Efron, Efron yeah, exactly, style. Exactly. <laughs> from Illinois. Okay, and I'm gonna read it with his.、Um, so he goes, "Could y'all release the next album with Chapstick? I'm running out of the last <laughs> one." Yes, we Thanks, did.、Zach. Our our last record, Next Thing, came with、uh, came with a Chapstick. So that's what Zach is referencing.、Right. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, we should do another Chapstick. I think that was that was a hit. What's the flavor for the for Vessel? You know, I'm someone who all my chapstick is the plainest, either plain, no flavor, or vanilla. So next、hmm. thing was vanilla, right? Next thing was vanilla, and the joke was because our music is vanilla.、Right. <laughs> um, still is, still is, yeah. So yeah, we'll we'll work on that for you, Zach. Some sort of <laughs> <Still> yeah, <vanilla. laughs> that's a good. Yeah, that's the flavor is called still vanilla. <laughs> right. The last one was sparkling vanilla. This one is still still vanilla. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good question.、Um, this is from Brett W. How do you feel about mayo? And that, this is very controversial.、Oh、so,、god. Luke. Oh my god. What, why me? I, I like it. I love <laughs> mayo. I thought you hated it. Yeah, I like it. I love mayo. Okay. I love mayo I、like、so、it. much. I like、um, Kewpie mayo. The Japanese mayonnaise. That's、oh, okay. the best one on the market. I've heard of this. I haven't, I haven't tried. I it. I like、okay. it all. Yeah. Not Have you、Miracle、guys made、Whip. mayonnaise at home ever? Like home yes. mayonnaise? Yes. yes. No. Easy. Yeah. Easy. Yes. It's, yes. it's yes. not the same when you buy it. It's so much no, better. No, it's really great. So it's a, when you drop in that that acid and it and it turns from it yellow from the yolk to become、oh, yeah. the a color that we recognize mayonnaise to be. <laughs> that's such an amazing thing to witness. It's a great moment when. Is that it comes like、together. mostly just egg? 
It's egg, Eggs, oil, oil, and a yeah. little bit of vinegar, acid, lemon juice, and or vinegar. Yes. vinegar. And you've got an nice emulsification process happening there. It's gorgeous. Thanks for asking hand, that. With, with a hand blender, too. With you a, put all the ingredients. As you lift the hand blender, it's, it just becomes mayo. Oh. I watched a lot of MasterChef Australia. Wait, sure. Luke, do you hate sour cream? Yeah, sour Okay, that's cream what I, I was hate, thinking yeah. of. He hates sour yeah, yeah, cream. So I'm it. not just making up that <laughs> nope. you hated mayo. Yep, yep. Okay. That's not all white foods. I love mayo. Yeah. Fries? You do fries with the mayo? Oh my god! Also? Fries yeah. with mayo. Yeah. Fries I hate ketchup. Fries. fries with mayo. Yeah, all about fries. I like with mixing mayo. ketchup and mayo. We we have a name mm. for that in fries my country. Sauce. We call that salsa golf. That's what I like. Golf sauce. Golf. Yeah. Yeah. It's mayo I, and ketchup. Yeah. I love golf. Yeah. Too. And now you love golf sauce. <laughs> I actually so. go golfing. Oh really? Every so weekend. Right? What's your handicap? No, that. <laughs> no, I'm not not that level, but I love to golf. This is from Peyton. There's no last name on here. How many cigarettes do you guys collectively smoke a day? Zero. 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 Thank Big you. Zero. Oh my God. Collectively Peyton. zero. That's the kind of Jeez. example. A that year. We, that's zero an interesting a year question. For all of us zero. Good together, right? So zero yeah. per year. Yeah. Okay. So if you do, okay. That doesn't actually divide out. So that's, that's an imaginary smoke number. Zero cigarettes yeah. ever, always. <laughs> <laughs> and I've so ne- should you. <laughs> right. <laughs> I've never smoked a cigarette. You know, so wow. I'm, I'm, no, I mean, I've tried, you know, are you just saying, are your parents like watching? Are you they just are saying watching. that? Hi, mom. Like- <laughs> never smoked anything. Moving on. Me too, mom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is from not Arthur L, Artur L, no mm-hmm. H. Uh, do you have a favorite song from the album? Uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> yes is the answer. <laughs> uh, yes. No, I'm, I'm sure we all have different I don't know ones. if I do have a favorite song. Mine is Accommodate. Accommodate? Really? It really speaks to me. Luke, I'm kind of a kind of a cafeteria guy. I think I yeah. might be a cafeteria guy cafeteria as well. Gal, yeah, cafeteria gal, this stuff guy. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. This stuff is is a good one. I like the wrong choice city. That's awesome. <laughs> wrong choice is. Uh, you want to explain? Yeah. What is that meaning behind it's that? It's unreleased Lexi EP. Oh, okay. Titled Wrong Choice. Yeah. yeah. Cool. We made this sweatshirt at, at home. <laughs> it looks great. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Edward G. What's your favorite marsupial? Oh my gosh! Oof. Is it koala marsupial? Wait, yeah, koala, wombat, wombat. Oh my god, wombat. I can't choose. I can't choose. Yeah, and co- and koala. No We've held both. <laughs> we didn't hold. They didn't let us hold. The I wombat. touched. I touched a, we, a went, wombat. We, we went to Australia. The three so of us. And I'd be scared to hold a bat just because the rabies. No, it's not oh, a bat. It's not a bat. Okay. It's like a wombat is like a bear. big, it's not like, fat okay. dog. It's like a baby okay. bear. Oh, I got it's you. So and cute. with okay. koalas, you can hold them in certain areas of Australia, but with wombats, they only they let there's like a handler who holds it, and you're allowed to just like touch, touch its leg, yeah, like, right. like, like this, right. and take a picture, like yeah. just just you touching its like good foot. Picks. It's That's really weird. fun. Yeah. yeah, I loved it. Both. <laughs> I hope um, I think they're both marsupials. Yeah, I think so. But I if so. if a wombat's not a marsupial, then it's then a koala. We're getting koala. the definition of marsupial wrong. We should Please be googling it. Correct us. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is from Ryan G. Who slash what are your top three non musical musical influences? Ooh, that's a great question. That's heady. We should all we should all give our top three. Yeah, wow. if you have, if I have you to think, think, think of I have, think I, for I, a I sec. can think of. I think I could think of two. <laughs> really? Yeah, you I gotta, go because I, I feel help. like yeah. I think I have to answer stuff like this a lot, so I know the answer right. already. But you, you guys have a minute. I'll give you a minute to think hat. about yours. Yeah. Mine is James Kachalka. Yeah, yeah. Something and uh, Frank O'Hare, the poet, because mm. both of those guys did, you know, be it in a cartoon uh, or daily comic strip or in a poem, they did this thing of kind of like just making making something beautiful at like a very small moment that you wouldn't expect to be like turned into an totally art piece. Mean, so yeah. those, those things had a big influence on my song, song okay. stuff. I, non-musical influences, guys? Know. Any non-musical influence over here? Yeah. That influences your music. Right. Right. Like, right. Couscous, my couscous my Luke? Music. <laughs> yeah, right. That's a great one. <laughs> yeah, couscous because it's what's in my shaker. <laughs> That's mm. right. The shaker is a, it's a beer can or like a soda it's, can or something? Uh, well, what the shaker can mm-hmm. is, is a... Uh, I think mildly alcoholic or potentially non-alcoholic beverage from Iceland called malt og appelsin. Apple, of course, meaning Appleson. orange, orange I've juice that in Icelandic, <laughs> and it's a Christmas time beverage that is uh, not. Yeah, I think it's non-alcoholic malt drink, mm-hmm. like a Guinness without the alcohol, basically, and orange soda yeah. and mixed together. And we played at Iceland Airwaves in 2016, mm-hmm. and that can is from then. I stole a few because I really liked how they looked. 
and then I, I make them at home with couscous. And so those are my two like really strong non-musical That's influences helpful. that make a big impact on the, the FC. And couscous lifestyle. is a good, it's a small grain, so you yeah. get a nice kind of I knew, smooth sound. I went through the, the you know, grain aisle and right. tried some other ones, but I before I went, I knew that it was going to be fine grain couscous. Of right. course, there's a lot of different kinds of couscous. There's different pearl. kinds, yeah. and there's pearl can't, couscous. Can't do pearl. Yeah, you can't pearl do pearl couscous. That would sound disgusting. Yeah, horrible, horrible idea. Yeah. Well, that's good advice for any, uh, you know, aspiring percussionists out there. Absolutely. Go for the couscous, you know. Get the can going. So this is this is from Judy B, but I'm gonna spell Judy as J E W D Y B. So that's how that Judy spelled her? it. The, this is how this is the legitimate spelling. Okay. Oh, cool. So, but this okay. is from the internet, so you never know. You never know. You never know. Yep. What's that's your cool favorite? <laughs> what's your favorite TV show at the moment? Bob's Burgers. Probably Travel Man. Yes, we love Travel I don't know Man. Travel man. It's a- it's oh, a it's British, so good! Uh, travel show featuring it's Richard Ayoade, Richard Ayoade. Mm-hmm. traveling around with a different co-star each time, <laughs> and he just is miserable. But it's really funny. It's great. You Sounds should watch British, it. Yeah. Also, I love um, I love um, somebody feed Phil. Oh sure. Oh, yeah. oh my God! I saw his last series yeah. about food. I'll have what Phil's having. Yeah, I'll have what Phil's having. <laughs> yeah. I watch that. Somebody you feed Phil. You watch Phil's all great. the Netflix cooking stuff. I'm yes. Just, yes. Yeah, me too. I love somebody feed Phil. Okay. You don't have another show you want to say? I want to say that, we're, right, I'm not watching it currently, but mm-hmm. my favorite TV show maybe of all time is The Mindy Project. I thought it was Buffy. Buffy, it's a little bit too scary, but it's <laughs> worth it because of what it did for me. As a, Buffy is my third non-musical musical influence, okay. which okay. is that it, like, if, you just, if I just think about the last episode of Buffy, I uh, feel strong and good. That's great. Cosmic consciousness style. <laughs> just putting that out there, yeah. cosmic consciousness. That's what Buffy, that's what Buffy is like ultimately about. <laughs> oh my God. There's no way I'm reading this correctly, but I think it's Layla Ho- Hogue, H-O-G-U-E, Hogue. Uh, which one of your songs do you think a dog would listen to while having fun? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Such a good question. question. You guys have the best fans, really. While having fun. Oh my God. And any one of them. All of them. Um, or none of them. All, all none of them. None. <laughs> I'm going to say fool. I mean, I guess, I guess the obvious answer around. would be like if I had a dog. If or I something. had a dog, yeah. but it's not like dog friendly sounding. It's like maybe too rocky. Like I like I'm thinking oh, like really? a lighter song. Like a, I think I'm thinking a like rock a song is good. I'm thinking like my dog, like when mm. he gets like really hyper, right, yeah. mm. like running around a cafeteria. Yeah. You know, like biting the cat, and I'm like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> You're kind of like it might scare the, the dog. I'm thinking like yeah. lower mm. volume, like something wow, to sing, something to the dog different to do direction. Like a little, oh, along right. to it, you know, right. like, but have it still be audible, you know. Have you guys heard of this metal band where the singer is like a bird? <laughs> That's amazing. It's like amazing. a parrot yeah. or something. <laughs> I just it. got onto this, so we're trying to get them in the basement. What are trying they to, called? It was, uh, it's like a really punny, terrible, terrible uh-huh. name, like hate. Not it was like a playoff hate breed. It was like hate okay. beak, hate beak. I love hate that beak. so much. Are they originals? Check. I think it's all ones? originals, and you've got the parrot writes them. Yeah, all original lyrics. And uh, the parrot writes the yeah, lyrics. Yeah, parrot writes them. You know, or maybe maybe no. lifting them off things they heard. You know, can't yeah, don't parrots just repeat you know. things? Yeah, they like, repeat things. Okay, so that's very cool. unoriginal. That's really guys. cool. Yeah. I don't know why I thought I was just. Watching I love that. that. <laughs> my beak. I used to I used to try and like figure out the chords that would get my dog to sing. Like there were specific like weird chords that would make him sing. So I'm all, I'm all about trying to yeah. get your animals to perform, you know. Right. Next tour, you know. Yeah. There's always another chance. Um, this is from Victor B. How do you manage to write and produce things so differently but still good and still you? I, I get where I get where you're coming from, Victor. I feel like I feel like Luke is honestly the the pro at like diversifying the sounds on the album like you were the one who would be like this song doesn't need drums or whatever like which i always just like think that every song's gonna end up right. being like a full band thing so thank you yeah so i, I appreciate that i, I don't do know, think, I think about that a lot i yeah. think the people playing on the songs like make them sound really different so like luke and lauren this is their first record that they're right. on the recordings and uh i think that it just changes the whole vibe of the of the sounds um and the ideas is like everyone's like musical inclinations are different so 
different I think, tastes. Uh, yeah. It gets filtered through the band. Yeah, but it's totally. uh, it's always gonna still sound like Frankie Cosmos because yeah, Greta yeah. has such Ultimately, a strong voice. Ultimately, when I'm I feel like when I'm sitting to write a song that it always kind of feels like it's. I probably already wrote a song that sounds like this. <laughs> so these guys helped me make it sound a little different, maybe. Yeah, cool. There was a time where Luke was like, "This, we already have a song that's like the same rhythm as this and the same strumming. And mm -hmm. like, you'll try and get me to like maybe make it more different or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but it's probably nice for you to have other people to bounce off, yeah. you know, with the sounds. Totally. It's mm -hmm. not just all you. Totally. So this is, uh, this is the last one, I think. Uh, this is from Sean K. And this is probably the most uh, profound one that we're getting today. What is it like to be alive? <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't know. <laughs> I wouldn't know. It's great. I really recommend it. I love it. Um, every day is great. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> you give, <laughs> yeah. give him life yeah. a thumbs up. Love him life. Yeah. <laughs> I would say that it's complicated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I, I disagree. I mean, are we even? Is this even reality? That's the yeah, real that's what question. I mean. It's like we don't, we don't know. At. You know, I, at, you I know no one knows. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think that if you're thinking about it, that's a step. <laughs> yeah, totally. Because I, I don't know. I kind of like, uh, yeah, I like just kind of noticing like oh, this feels a certain way and ground looks a certain it way. It feels so real, right? I think just looking around and just feeling and seeing things and and having uh, interaction interaction with <laughs> your surroundings is a. Uh, is being alive, right? And then thinking about it. Yeah, if you think about it. Well, you don't have to think about it, but... Did this performance <laughs> feel like reality? Is it weird performing in front I of, like... I always feel like after we perform that, like, I didn't do it. Like, I'm like, didn't yeah. time pass? It yeah, always felt like a, like a dream. Time passes really differently when you're when you're performing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, but it changes for every performance. Right. I mean, some some feel like feel long. You're very aware of the time <laughs> yeah. passing. Yeah, yeah. And I think some it's don't. yeah. I think it's a it's a good feeling when it. I think that's kind of like the feeling of being in the zone. Like yeah. is when it's like stuff's just going and mm -hmm. time is moving and you're not like aware of time passing. Mm -hmm. You're not like checking the clock. Yeah, that's one of the best parts of being alive. Being in the zone. Yes, being in the zone in the is. Zone. Being in the zone is the best yeah. part. Yeah. Yeah. Being being alive is being in the zone. Just hold, <laughs> trying to hold on to those moments where you're in the zone because that's the best time that you're ever going to have, probably. <laughs> that's good advice. I agree. And on that note, uh, thank you guys again for playing the basement. Everybody, go grab their records coming out tomorrow, and uh, we'll catch you next time, right back here in the basement. Bye. 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 Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. We're just gonna wave, you know. We're just gonna do it.